thinking about this, the, the holy city within the walls of love. And it makes me think of walls, you know, like that's a very clear picture, a city within walls. And the thing about that is that it's not just walls. Of course, walls are built to like contain something, right? To like keep something in, keep something out. But it's not just walls around the city. There, there's doors, there's gates, there's drawbridges, there's the accessibility for something to come in and something to come out. And so there is this movement that happens. The reason for the wall is because there's something contained. There's something specific happening within that container that needs some sort of wall to help hold the container so that something specific can happen inside of it. We're an intentional community. So the idea is that this community has come together under specific intention. And I like to practice and encourage intentional living, which means that the way that we're living is very intentional with what we're doing, what we're thinking, how we're feeling, how we be together. Like it's a very specific something happening within this container that is not necessarily exclusive because things can come and things can go, but it's specific. So the holy city within the walls of love holds a very specific vibration that has been intentionally created within those walls so that the people that come in get to experience that vibration of love, get to experience the culture that's been created inside of that space. And the people that leave out the walls get to take that experience and share it out into the world. And that's a a beautiful thing to be intentional. You know, so it's like, how intentional are we with our living? You know, we all have walls. We carry walls around us all the time. Some walls are put up for fear. Some walls are put up for love. What is it that exists inside the walls? That's what's most important. That's where our intention comes in. I had a friend of mine share a story about um, something that his father said to him. It was, no one can ever make you feel anything. No one can ever make you think anything. No one can ever make you do anything unless they have a gun to your head. But there's something that speaks to the sovereignty of standing in the middle of my world, of my creation, of my experience. And having some walls, some boundary, some protection around it that says, this is what lives here. Now, as we become more conscious, we recognize that um, we do have that power. It is our experience. It's sometimes easy to, you made me feel this way. You made me do this thing. You made me think this thing. But at the end of the day, that's all ours. We hold our thoughts, we hold our feelings, we hold our actions, we hold the way that we're being. These are the four quarters of the human experience. And each one of us has some responsibility of how we hold that capacity. What do we let live inside the walls of our experience? It's our choice. May those walls hold a city of love. Because that's what we intend inside of our heart, mind, body, and soul.